Hello, this is Tehmina Khan, TK. Today I will explain to you the concept of trapezium rule, which is a part of the syllabus of A level P3. We know that the definite integral give us the area under the curve and we can easily find it out. But if we have to find the area under the curve with the help of trapezium rule, what we will do? Let's see here. I have divided the area under the curve into strips and the shape of each strip is approximately or like trapezium. If I find out the area of each trapezium and add it up, I will get approximate area of the curve uh, under the curve. Now important thing here, these are called intervals. Each strip is an interval and each strip is bounded by two vertical lines. These vertical lines, the length of these vertical lines you can calculate by the value of the y over here. Value of the y is called ordinate. So we will see later how do we calculate it. Now we know that the area of a trapezium has a formula half into width into sum of parallel sides. Width is actually the distance between two parallel sides. So if we know the width and if we know the length of two parallel sides which are vertical, it means we can find out the area of a trapezium. Now why do we call it approximate value? The area we get by using trapezium rule, why do we call it estimated or approximate area? Let's see the reason here. Suppose this is the shape of the curve and if you look at here, the trapezium is giving us little extra area over here. Whereas if you look here, the trapezium will give you little less than the actual area because this much portion will be left behind. So that's why it is called overestimated area or underestimated area, which is often asked in the exam. So based on this reason, you can answer the question. Now it doesn't mean you need to sketch every time. A sketch is at times given to you, when, uh, I mean it is given to you, when this question is asked, otherwise equation of the curve is so simple that we can understand what will be the shape of the curve. For example, if it is quadratic, you know what will be the shape. Now let's see an example here. I have divided the area into four strips, A, B, C and D. And if we find out the area of each strip and then add them up, we will get area under the curve. Now what is this x naught? x1, x2, x3, x4. These are the values of x of the boundaries because to find out this length you need to know this value of y because this value of y will actually give you this length and at this values of x on the function of the curve you will get the value of y. Okay so now we will see how we will find out areas of the trapezium. Now look at this area, A. Area will be half times this distance multiplied by sum of this length and this length. This length will be equal to the y value over here and this length will be equal to the y value over here. This will give me area of the trapezium A. Now for area of the trapezium B, similarly, I will use this length and this length. So these are the y values or ordinates which I will find out from the function and I will explain it in a while with the help of example. Right now I am generalizing the formula because mostly students are told straight away the formula and they cram it. Whereas if you understand this, you will not need to learn it by heart. You will understand automatically and you can produce it at the time of need. Okay, so now let's see the sum of these four uh, area of trapezium so that we can find out the approximate area under the curve. So here I have shown the addition of the four um, area of the trapezium and if you see what is common over here. Yes, you are right, H over T and H is the distance between parallel sides. In a while we will see how to find out the value of H and the value of ordinates. So after taking h over 
two common out. Now this is what is left. Now what do you see? Y naught means the first value of ordinate and Y4, the last value of ordinate is only once. The rest of the values are repeated. Y3, Y3, Y2, Y2. And why it is so? Because if you see here in the figure, this boundary is shared by area of trapezium A and area of trapezium B also. So this is the boundary which is the value of Y1 is giving me uh, the side length for both the trapezium. Similarly, this one is shared by B and C. This one is shared by C and D. Whereas, this ordinate is only used once and this AND ordinate is also used only once. So, how we can write it in simplified form? After opening the brackets, we will write the single values one time which is Y0 and Y4 basically first and last value and the rest we will add up and multiply by 2 because they all are twice in the formula. So in general form if we want to write out the area of a trapezium, uh, trapezium area of the curve under the curve with the help of trapezium rule it will be half into height first value of ordinate last value plus 2 time rest of the values of ordinate. Now let's see how to calculate the value of H and Y and to find out the area of each trapezium. So here is the example. The question is integration uh, of limits 1 to 5 x cube. More correctly it will be to write down here dx which is a correct notation. Okay, so we have to divide this area into 4 strips. So if there are 4 strips, it means how many ordinates will be there? Yes, 5 ordinates because 4 strips mean there will be 5 ordinates. Now what we will do? We have to find the values of phi and we have to find the value of h. Now, h is the distance between the strip, um, sorry, distance between the parallel sides of each trapezium. So, and it is equal in length. So to find this out, what we will do, look at the diagram first so that I can explain to you. Now the question is why did I write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? It means the distance this is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, here also it is 1, here also it is 1. How did we calculate? To calculate the uh, value of h, you do upper limit minus lower limit divided by number of intervals. So here in the question, we had lower limit 1, upper limit 5. So you did 5 minus 1 and question was saying divide into 4 intervals. Sometimes to trick you, it is said um, by you, you will uh, have to find out 5 ordinates. Now 5 ordinates mean there are 4 intervals. So automatically we will understand. So H is upper limit minus lower limit divided by number of intervals. This will give you length of or the distance between two parallel sides of the trapezium. And that is the reason we have here 1, 2 because 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4 because this length is 1. So this is how we get the values of x and the corresponding values of y against these x we will find out in a while. Let's see here. Now to calculate the ordinates y0, y1, y2, y3 and y4, what we will do, the function was y is equals to x cube. So my first value of x is 1, which I am plugging in here, I am getting 1. So for x0, my ordinate is 1. Next value of x was 2. So I am plugging in 2 in the formula, oh sorry, in the function and I got the second ordinate. Similarly, I am substituting 3, 4 and 5 over here and I will get these ordinates. So these are my ordinates y0, y1, y2, y3, y4. And in the formula when we will write, these last and first, first and last will be written once and the other one A2764, they will be written 
twice. Now let's see here the application of it in the formula. Half into height into ordinates. Sum of all the ordinates. So height was 1 which was the distance between the parallel sides. This is the first ordinate which we got here 1. This is the last ordinate which we got here to 125. And then the rest of the ordinates we are adding up and multiplying by 2. And I have explained you the reason of it because the boundary is shared by two trapeziums. Now uh, let's look at the second example here. The function is ln x and we have to integrate it for the limit 1 to 3. And question is saying estimate the value using the trapezium rule with 5 ordinates. Now what is the meaning of 5 ordinates? How many intervals there will be? Yes, you are right. There will be 4 intervals. Here is the graphical explanation of the question. We can see these are the 4 intervals areas 1 2 3 4 now to find out the area using trapezium rule we need to calculate h and ordinates which we will use in the formula so let's see how do we do it like i said h is calculated by using upper limit minus lower limit divided by number of intervals and five ordinates mean we had four interval so we have gotten here the distance between the parallel sides or height is 0 0.5. So now we need to find out the values of y so that we can substitute the form, uh, values in the formula and can calculate the area. Now the function is y is equals to ln x. Now what are my x values? What, what are the x values which I will plug in here? So let's see one again, once again with the help of graph and then we will substitute the values here. Now the lower limit was 1 in the question. And from calculation we have calculated that h is 0 0.5. So after 1 my next value of x will be 1.5 because I will add 0 0.5 and 1. So this will be my x0. This will be my x1. And then I will again add 0 0.5 in 1.5 I will get 2. So this will be x2, x3 and x4. So this is how I will get the values of x which I need to substitute in the function to get the values of y. So after adding 0 0.5 I got 2.5 then again I add 0 0.5 I got 3. Because the length or the distance of each strip is 0 0.5 so let's see here the uh, calculation to find out the values of y so once we have figured out the values of x against which we have to get the values of y we will substitute one by one these values in the function over here so first I am substituting 1 then 1.5 then 2 2.53 and these are the values I am get, getting here I would suggest that when you are getting the values in decimals, mostly it is given in the question that up till or up to how many decimal place you have to give your answer. If in case it is not given, write down up till 4 or 5 decimal place to get more accurate answer because you have to add them up later. So now I have my ordinates value, y values and I have h also. So now let's substitute it in the formula. So here is the formula for the trapezium rule to calculate the area under the curve. As I said earlier, the first value of y against the lower limit and the values of y against the upper limit are only written once and reason I have explained to you. The rest of the values of y you add up and multiply by 2 and here is the calculation and you get the answer like this. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have learned something from it and you liked it, please do press like and subscribe. Then automatically you will get the indication when I will upload my other videos. Thank you very much. And I will um, write down the link of integration of my other videos in the description. So if you want to see 
the other videos of integration please go and see in description thank you very much